Hi guys, welcome back. Oh, I'm typing in my student ID and stuff. The date. <laughs> Man, I think we need to take a little break seat for making episodes. My eyes are getting all kooky, kooky. And glossy because I'm staring at a screen in the dark. All right, segment oh, three. Yep. Ole. Okay. Put this bad boy in here. I'm gonna let it run a little longer, give us some more time. Yeah. 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 It's my shoe. <laughs> She's making noise. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. We are back with some more GM Chow hips. Uh, tips. <laughs> that was funny. Same though. Tips. Um, if you're just now tuning in with us, uh, we are talking about how to make gummy worms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so... And right before uh, the break, we talked about what ingredients you needed and how to mix them all together. And now we're going to get in how to form the actual worm. So this is the difficult part, in my opinion. So um, you're going to want to create your mold. So you need to stand up about 50 large straws, metal, metal straws, of course, um, in a, um, a straight-sided jar, such as a mason jar mm -hmm. or a cup or something like that. Um, and then, yeah, those straws need to be really wide, um, like the ones you use for, like, smoothies milkshakes mm -hmm. and then you are probably gonna want a rubber band uh, to keep your straws together and upright um, and you need to use more than one jar if necessary um, you know you know how all of those 50 right. straws you mm -hmm. know all together and yeah so you can use up all of your your liquid um, then you're gonna prepare a cold water bath which is just a container full of cold ice water um, that you are gonna place the jar of straws into so okay. you're going to put the cup um, of milkshake straws into the bowl or the container into of the, ice water. Yeah, so it could be like another jar. Uh, it needs to be the same height, I'd say. Sit it upright, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, then you're going to carefully pour in half of the mixture, like, into the straws, like, over the straws. Yeah, okay. Evenly pour... Um, half of your worms into the mixture. Fill them up to about two inches each. Mm -hmm. Then you can add some food coloring. Now this is pretty fun. You could do uh, blue worms, red worms, green worms, yellow worms, yeah. purple worms. So this way you're kind of getting those, you know how some gummy worms have two, uh, like each side of it is a different color. Like half of it is blue, half of it's red. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you're getting that multicolored worm. If you don't care about that, you know, you can just skip this and move on to the next next uh, step, which is... Um, wait, then pour. Wait, then pour, yeah. So wait for the mixture that you first added to solidify, and then uh, that should probably take like 20 minutes, and then you can pour the rest in there. Um, then you need to let the worm sit overnight. You need to remove the jar from the ice bath and put it into the fridge and just let it chill in there. Overnight? Yeah. And then, uh, Emma, I know you did say metal straws, of course, because you wanted to save the turtles, but I think you actually do have to use oh, plastic. plastic oh, plastic. You have, you have to be able to, you bend, have to bend them. them yeah. But um, before you do that, you'll need to remove all of the straws from the glass, the glass right. that you had the straws in, which should be a little, like trickier because all of the gummy stuff has like solidified yeah, around the, it mm -hmm, so yeah. you can use a knife to scrape out your gummy worms and then you can scrape off any of the excess gummy material and i would totally eat that if I. oh yeah you need to eat that don't let that go to waste yeah don't let it go to waste eat it yum 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 and then here comes the fun part you got to remove the worm from the straw and that's why you can't use the metal ones because you got to so fun bend it yeah you have to squeeze it you have to squeeze the um you know gummy worm out of the straw fun stuff and if it's difficult to do you can run it under some warm water but not too war warm so that the worms melt yeah um, but yeah, and you just kind of like wiggle it, work its way out, and then you have... Gummy worms. Gummy worms. Yay. You've got gummy worms, and you can eat them, and you can store them. Um, if you would like to, you can spray a container, like an airtight container. Uh-huh, with a little bit of vegetable oil so that it doesn't stick to the sides or each other. 
Mm -hmm. And then you toss it in the fridge. Yay, gummy worms! Glad mm. we talked about that. And those sound really good too. Does, like yeah. they're, they're juice flavored. Like oh yeah, you put in those. those they're juice. really nice. More more of a natural way to go. Mm -hmm. I feel like. And the pictures, they look pretty cool. I mean, they, they don't do. have eyes or anything, but you can tell they're like worms. So that's oh, really definitely. cool. Oh, definitely. It looks like spaghetti. All right, so I'm probably gonna do this uh, little little uh, wiki how wiki chow. I want to try it. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, let us know if you guys want to try it, too, or ask us more questions about it um, on our Facebook page. Yeah, you can KCOZ. just message us at KCOZ. Um, we are going to be right back after some more music with our What Would You Do segment. Sorry, that was kind of rushed. Did it sound okay? Was it okay? No. Whatever. Okay. It's good. <laughs> 